Hi guys, Betsy here with Unique Paper 15. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I am so excited. I have my scrapbook.com order that came in. And this was my like big splurge for me. I saved up and um, like put all my craft money into one month. I actually skipped a month. So the haul I had previously done was from like the two months before that that I'd saved up. So anyways, this is what I got. I'm excited about it. All right, let's start off here with these. Um, they are Santoro Color Me Craft Tape. And I don't know if you guys have ever played around with these, but I'll come in a little closer. And no, I did not get my remote yet for my camera. Sorry for the shaking. I will soon. Okay, so this is what they look like. They're very cute and they have that beautiful little girl there and it just goes around and around and around and it has different Santoro gorgeous girls on there and you can color them. It's very cute and how much do you get? Let's see here. Does it tell me? It just says five, okay, five meters. You get five meters of it, so a very good amount. So I got two of those. I'm going to give one away and I finally tried the purple tape. I bought this because I like iCraft. Many of you who've been with me for a while, and by the way, I saw that I have some new subscribers. Thank you. I saw Linda, she joined, thanks guys, and a ton of other people. Thank you, like literally made my month. And all of you who stay with me and have stayed with me since the beginning, thank you so much guys. <clears throat> so I got the purple tape because I see all these people, oh, it's blah, blah, blah. You can wipe it off, you can reuse it, it doesn't tear your paper. What do you know? I put it on my paper on a project that I worked very hard on. I run it through my Gemini, rip, it rips my paper, oh my God. And I was like so on the fence with buying this because I was like, I don't know, it's like painter's tape, it's like microphone, I don't know. But then I had a piece of my regular micropore tape and it was again a project prior to this that I've been working on and I ripped it and it just made me so mad. I said, that's it, I'm gonna try the purple tape. So here's some pieces. They're not really reusable. I mean, maybe it's me, maybe I have bad luck. However, in defense of the purple tape, it only tore that one time. And in double defense, the Gemini really squishes things. Like it's not like a normal cutting machine. Like it leaves indents in your paper from like a piece of hair. Like it really squishes. So um, it's nice. I'm gonna keep playing with it. I just wanna see if it's worth $7. I wanna see if this tape is really worth it. So um, I'm in the beginning stages of playing with it. All right, next um, I got the Alta New sweet rose bouquet set and die and you can see that they're colored i've been playing with them a little bit today because i really wanted to do some layering and play with all those new dyes that i've gotten <clears throat> the inks and i just i can do it i just i'm not getting mine to look like that you know what i mean like they're pretty but I'm not getting it to look like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna order one set of the Alta New little min, um, mini ink cubes of the Sweet Rose, I think it's actually called Rose Bouquet. I believe it's like a four set. And I'm gonna try it. And I'm gonna see if the Alta New inks are any different. And I know a lot of you have been doing the layering for a very long time. I'm new to it. If you guys have any suggestions on the inks to use for layering, like, you know, the, the sets from the light pink, medium, dark, etc., please let me know. I'm, I'm really interested. I'm willing to invest in the right inks. I just feel like I'm not doing the right thing right now. I mean, they're, they're pretty roses. Would I send them to you? No, I wouldn't. I haven't gotten there yet. So I am still playing around. So please give me your tips below. Um, but in case you're not familiar with it, they have four rosebuds and then they have basically two branches and then they have the four add-on leaf pieces. 
Now what you will find in this set is this rogue branch. It's very funny. I was like, where does he go? He doesn't have a die. I don't understand. So this guy right here, he's just on his own. I'm sorry. No, he has a die. Forgive me. It is this guy. One of these guys does not have a die. I want to no, I want to say it's this guy. Yeah, I want to say it's this guy. Yeah, it is. You have to cut him out by hand. Everybody else has a die but him. So, okay, whatever. All right, there's that. I got a good deal. Um, and again, this is all from scrapbook.com. So while I was there, I also got the Lawn Fawn uh, Reveal Wheel Sentiments to go with my reveal wheel because as you may have seen from the two reveal wheel cards I've made, I've just been using my own sentiments from stamps or letters that I have. So I've just been doing my own thing. Like literally these are the, the individuals from Stamps of Life and I'm just, you know, lining them up on my acrylic block at angles or the one I did on my Ink on 3, I just bent the actual sentiment. So I'm excited to have ones that fit, are meant to be, and I don't have to go through my stash and see like, oh, what fits in that hole? So I'm very excited. Plus, it has the really cool uh, salutations here in different languages. And then you have the turn me, turn the wheel, turn here. I like that. And then I guess some of these longer ones are for the inside. I can't thank you enough. Just wanted to say, um, how do you say that? Is that Gigi? I don't know. What is that? I know Ni Hao, but I'm not sure about that one. And then, um, let's see here. Many wishes. Enjoy your day. I really like these angled ones. Those are cute. Have a really super duper. That's a word I use a lot is have a super duper, but I spell my duper like D-O-O-P-E-R, like duper, you know, anyway fun filled. I just think this is cute. So, um, I got a good price on it. Happy about that. And then I went ahead and I got the, um, the little ice cream. I don't think it's called anything. I think it's just called the ice cream dye. <laughs> I don't know. It has, um, if you see there, it cuts the window. So as you guys have probably seen a hundred videos by now, that little window will now be that ice cream window. So that's the dealio there. You can actually cut, I'm sorry, that cuts the ice cream window. That cuts out the whole ice cream shape. Now, I tried to get the ice cream stamp, you know, that matches this. And it says like, you're sweet, blah, blah, blah. But it, it's all sold out. That's okay. But I'm thinking, Betsy, can you not draw some hash marks? <laughs> like, you know, to make a cone. If you can't, Let's stop, reevaluate. Maybe you're in the wrong type of hobby. I don't know, because if I can't draw a cone, help me. All right, next. Um, now, Brianna used to feed my addiction on these jewel, what are these called? Jewel flourishes, glazed jewel, I don't know, these, these swirly jewel things. And I used them so sparingly, but I just used like my last one. I made my mother-in-law a Mother's Day card. And so I had to buy more. And every time Brianna would send me a package, she would send me some really cool jewel stuff like this, but <clears throat> I haven't gotten any in a while. So I had to buy myself some. These are like little rhinestones, but that's okay, Brianna. I know you're in the process of moving. Completely understand, just joking. These ones are black which are cool. I think that would go nice with a lot of projects. And um, I don't know if you guys do this, but sometimes I cut mine. Like I'll just use, I'll cut it right there and I just use that sprig. Or I cut it like right there, I just use that tail. So sometimes I don't use the whole entire scroll. And then the last one is pearls. I thought those were really pretty. And one of these I got to give away and the rest for me, so. I thought those were nice and really good prices. I think these were $1.99. So that's a good price in my book for all the product you get. Okay, next, let's skip that for a second. Next, I got these. I got some Bow Bunny White Gesso and it's 100 milliliters. 
And that's a fair amount if you're not doing uh, mixed media and painting type of things every single day. Um, so I wanted to try it out. And like some of the artists say, gesso is gesso. And you can make your own gesso with a few simple products. Just how I make like my, um, my modeling paste. Is that right? My, the thick stuff. Is it called, is it called modeling paste? Whatever, my thick stuff. I make that by hand. So I could also make my own gesso. I think I'm gonna start, but I wanted to try this out, see how it goes. So very cute. I'm gonna try it out, let you know how it goes. Next, um, I think it is called modeling paste. Okay, next I got some Bow Bunny, Bow Bunny glitter paste. And this is in the color Caribbean. Now this is 50 ml. And this was significantly cheaper than the tonic, but the tonic is also bigger. So let's see what this looks like. I'm excited to, I'm always like dying to do these videos so I can play with my stuff. I, I will not play with my stuff, except I wanted to play with those roses until I show you guys. Okay, I'm happy. Come on. Where are you going? There you go. Look at all that. That's beautiful. Do you guys know um, Cosmic Shimmer? They have been at like all the craft shows I've ever gone to and they have some really cool um, glitter paste, some gilding paste, things like that. And um, I, I always wanted to get their stuff. It's $10 for a tub. It's very similar to like the shape of the tonic um, mousses. But all the colors I always wanted to get are always sold out. So this is kind of what I got instead of that. All right, next is this guy. My husband went bananas over this. He thought this was really pretty. I agree. Okay, this is the moonshine, right? Let's see. Where does it? Oh, okay, yep, yeah, moonstone, sorry. Moon... <laughs> I'm thinking of booze. Moonshine, okay, moonstone. So this one is, I don't know, it's bigger. There you go. Oh, wait, what? It says 50 ml, 1.7, I'm not making it up, you guys. 50 ml, 1.7 ounces. Didn't this just say the same thing? Let's, let's go back to the thing here. Am I losing my mind? Didn't we just see 50 ml? Yeah, right there. <clears throat> Come on, camera. <clears throat> 50 ml. How? How is that the same? How is that the same? I don't know. Either somebody doesn't know how to measure or there's like a magic bottle here somewhere. So these are both 50 ml. All right. Whatever. All right. So let's look. Oh, it's like a little tin one. Okay, this one's not to the top. That answers it. Look at that. This one's not to the top. It's like down here. So that would actually almost end because this one was at the top. So I guess that's our answer. No magic. All right. Very pretty, right? Very like iridescent, holographic. Let's see how thick that is. Okay, it's like... um. It feels like a sugar scrub you'd put on your face and the consistency too, you know, like, you know, like a sugar scrub on your face. All right, let's rub that off. Oh my God, what a mistake that was. Why didn't you guys say something? All right, that is glittery. Oh my gosh, as my husband calls it, stripper dust. Okay, we'll put that over here. Next, I got these. Tim Holtz Ideology Mini Book Rings. These I thought were so cute. They're literally like the little rings that I just showed in my last video. And in case you didn't see that, I'm gonna show you because I'm in love with these things. All right, this one is my second tag. And I'm not done with it yet, but those are the big book rings, right? That go in and you just add everything. And I got them in a bunch of colors, all the metallic like rainbow colors. Now I got mini ones 
and I thought that would be fun to make like mini flip books. Patty, look what you've done. You've gotten me totally hooked on these <laughs> tag flip things. So these are really cute. I actually just saw them today, Joann's, on sale for $1.99. So 18 rings, very cool, right? And it looks like you get three shades in there, like some bronze, some silver, some gold. So that's fun. All right, next. I got this for free, as you guys know, if you put in the code, um, you get like, you can choose, I think it's like three items. You can either get like a glue or something or a magazine, whatever. I always like to get the magazine um, because I, I am addicted to only one type of glue, as you guys know. So um, again, Carissa Wiley's in here, but I wanted to show you guys something that I forgot to show you in my last scrapbook.com haul. Did you know that there is a coupon code in here from Simon Says Stamp that is good for a really long time? I want to find it and show it to you guys because, you know, screenshot it, pause the video, write the code down, whatever. Even though there's a code out right now, you can use this code, I think it's like forever. Let's find it. I just had, there you go. Okay, this, this one's good until August of 2018, but the next magazine will say like October. So there you go. F as in Frank, W as in water, R as in Roger, 528. So that's $5 off your next purchase. So you guys get that code right there, use it. You know, why not? I seriously, I, um, I use, I don't shop unless I have a coupon. That's the bottom line there. Okay, next. Um, Doodle Bug, hello paper. You guys might remember a couple hauls ago, I got some of the um, Doodle Bug dimensional stickers and some of the hello stuff. I really, really like this hello line. I think it is adorable. So let's, let's look at the paper. So the six by six pack, and it's got foil in here as well. So some very bright, vibrant, you know, colors here. Some fuchsias, some, um, you know, bright blues, lime. I really like this mix. I mean, I, who doesn't like a dark navy with pops of color, right? And then you have some monotone, you know, monochromatic kind of pinks. I really like that. Here's where the foil comes in. Um, I think it was Bella Boulevard did a paper like this one time. I really liked it. Some blue navy kind of and royal blue stripes. Some basic flowers here, some polka dots. And then here you have all your phones and your call outs, a lot of fun. Flowers, pink plaid, flowers and flowers. And then you have your green mono. And then you have some more gold foil. And then this is just a bunch of yellow, like little bow ties. Then you have birds on a wire, really cute. That'd be fun to use for many things. Pink and white hearts, navy stripes. And then you have your cutaways, which are a bunch of fun. You could turn those into stickers, you know, a ton of, ooh, maybe I'll use these with these and do my mini tags for some of them. That'd be fun. Okay. The cameras. I'd also like to tell you guys that I bought my husband an Instastax camera to take to Israel with them on his trip and I made him a traveler's journal with pockets to like put the pictures and stuff in and he did it. He did not want to do it. He was like, I'm not carrying that thing around, but he did and he took pictures, he played along and um, I'm glad he did because he captured a lot of memories, but it's a really fun camera. I got a great deal on Amazon. Again, if you go and you find a great deal on it, I check the use but good, but it's new. It just, if there's any damage on the box at all, they have to say used. And I got a phenomenal deal on that and two boxes of film. So anyways, I wanted to let you know that because um, the Insta stacks are in these like little uh, prints, arrows, and then some beautiful colorful plaid. And then here's your runners really nice ones here love those and then we've got a solid pink um some navy and royal blue polka dots and then we're back at our repeat okay so that's that and then i went ahead and i got the foil mini icon stickers 
so cute right and you guys remember i got the doodle right these the little doodle pop stickers um an instagram a phone a letter there's the insta stacks his was not yellow his was like a grayish white though um this one's really cool the cell phone that's really fun i just like them all the bike with the basket i mean sometimes the smallest ones are the coolest and these right here, I always cut these runners and I turn those into stickers too. I think those are a lot of fun. All right, then I went ahead and I got these um, Santoro Gorgeous Girl sticker sheets. They look like stamps and I'm actually going to put these on the envelopes on the outside. I know it'll probably confuse the mailman, but they'll figure it out. I mean, seriously, if they can't, they shouldn't be in that job. It's decoration, but look how cute these are. The little crab girl, which I really want to get that stamp. I just haven't yet. I really like that stamp set though. Over there. Do, 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 do. The horse. Oh, look at the Happy Meal one. I like that little girl there. Oh, the girl painting. Oh, she's the girl that's on my cutting mat. I know her. And then the mermaid. And is it the same? Yeah. So it's the same on the back side. Okay, so those. And then I got these um, the lemonade stand and these were all a dollar 42 they were doing a sale and you can see that you have some epoxy on some of the pieces like the lemons there and the glass you see that very cute right so I got the little lemonade stand I miss doing that did you guys make um, little lemonade stands and sell in the summer I did but let me tell you what I lived in Alaska and no one came like my mom would come and then maybe she would like coerce a neighbor into coming but she had to get in the car and go to the neighbor's house and tell them to come down because we live so far away from anybody I would sit out there and pretty much drink all the lemonade but it still was fun okay um, this one I got this for Kim because she really wanted the um, the new MFT like margarita martini set so I thought of her with this one and then the panda bears so cute and then I got a flamingo and then another ice cream truck with the little ice creams and the music notes a lot of fun and the turtle oh my gosh Corinne she colored some really cute turtles lately for the 30 day or you know the daily marker 30 day and I I don't mind it. I love turtles, so I was thinking of her when I got this one. Maybe I'll send that one to Corinne. Okay, next, <clears throat> and we're almost done with this, is, oh, something fell out. This is what fell out. <clears throat> this is Santoro Gorgeous Color Me Wooden Tags. Are these cool or what? These were really cheap. So they basically have all the, you know, the girls, and then buy airmail, and, uh, I believe that says first class, let's see. Yep, first class, but they're all like little wooden tags and you can color them or you can leave them uh, natural, your choice. But I thought those are really pretty. So maybe I'll do something with the stamps and the tape, whatever. <clears throat> and then I ordered this sheet separately because I wanted to get some bigger cutaways. Now these would probably be better with these rings, yeah. That's better thinking, Betsy. And then the back side is just that, but I got it for this. And I believe when you buy them a single sheet like that, they're a dollar each. So I'm okay with that. And then I went ahead and I got some white chipboard. Um, Corinne had done a video and she was talking about she got the extra heavy weight and she couldn't cut through it. I just got the regular one, the regular weight. And um, it's just literally white chipboard so I can make my own chipboard sentiments. But I gotta tell you, I have not found one thing this Gemini will not cut through. I'll tell you a little story. I'm a tad embarrassed, but I'm gonna share. Do you see my tape thing here? The cap is missing and it will never come back because I was like, choo, 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 choo. I was crafting and doing my thing and, and I set my tape down, I put my thing in my Gemini and I'm like, Where's my lid? I'm just looking everywhere for my lid and all of a sudden I hear my gym like grr, grr, grr. it's like going crazy. I'm like, what is going on? I take it out the other side. Of course, all my, my images are perfectly die cut. I should have saved it. The lid is like a penny. It is squished completely flat 
like I literally <laughs> spatula it up. It's it was flat like a penny. This machine will cut anything. So I'm quite confident that I can get some nice die cuts out of this. So we'll see. And if not, I'll put it in my metal shim. All right. Then I got this uh, Summer Dreams Echo Park. If you guys remember, we got this kit last year. I just, I thought it was a good thing to get for this year since I'm making a lot of summer tags. And you have a ton of fun things here. And this was very affordable. I think it was like a dollar, dollar 15. Um, you know, some nice tags, the Insta stacks, you have some popsicles, again, some flamingos, scooters, or Vespa. Uh, some cameras, some tickets, glasses, uh, cell phones. It's just a lot of fun, you know, that a lot of stickers for a really good price. So there's that. Okay, that is, what is this? Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, I don't know if this is of any interest to you guys. For a limited time, take an extra 5% off your entire purchase of Echo Park and Cartabella products at scrapbook.com code echo park five yeah those are two companies i love so why not right all right so that is scrapbook.com now <clears throat> i wanted to do a little giveaway and i know that i have one going on my last video too so it still applies but um you guys remember you must be subscribed to win that is that's the noise you must be subscribed to my channel. I am so close to getting to 1,000. I'm like almost at a desperate level at this point. Like, please subscribe, you guys. I'm so close. So I'm doing another giveaway. On the last video, <clears throat> I'm giving away a really, really nice all to new uh, stamp and die set. And I'm going to throw some extra little things in there. So go check that out. Make sure you enter and the rules are, or, you know, the instructions are in the video. But for this one, um, I'm gonna give this guy away. It's a lot of fun in this stamp set. I, I love this one. It's by Echo Park. And let's see the name of it. I think it's called Crafty. Let's see. Eat, Sleep, Craft is what it's called. So you have this sewing machine so lovely. All good things come to those who craft. I like to party. And by party, I mean stay at home in my PJs and do crafts. You have the typewriter flower heart the answer is crafting I don't care what the question is someone let me know when professional pinner becomes a career option a camera a flower and then eat sleep craft repeat so I'm gonna be giving this away and it's open to anybody who is subscribed to me so what you need to do if you would like to win this is put in the comments what your favorite item was and say I'd like to win I'm going to just look at all those who would like to win and who is subscribed and then I will draw them and I will put the entry dates um, in the description. So basically I'm going to let it run for like a week to 10 days and um, then I'll let you guys know when the winners will be picked. So good luck everybody if you wanna win that. All right guys, that's it for this haul. Thanks so much for sticking with me. I know it was a little long, but I hope you liked it. I hope you guys are getting some good deals and I hope you guys are enjoying summer so far. I know it's a hot one already, but that's it. If you're not subscribed, please do. I would appreciate it. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, but definitely come back for more. Bye guys.